All right, in today's entertainment city, some of Hollywood's biggest stars are using a rather unlikely platform to push against unrealistic beauty standards in showbiz. Stunning and sparkling on the red carpet, this year's Pirelli stars gathered in Paris to celebrate the iconic calendar's 44th unveiling. In this year's edition, the A-list actresses go au naturel with no retouching, stripped back, but not scantily clad as in previous years. At a time when aging is one of the biggest hurdles for women in Hollywood, this Pirelli calendar exposes the unfair expectations placed on women in the spotlight. In still photography, we're very used to fantastic lighting and the best makeup artists in the world. So when all that's taken away, it's quite uh, jarring. Nicole Kidman echoed those sentiments at a press conference earlier. In my own personal life, my husband totally prefers me with no makeup on. And then there's the flip side, which is now I'm going to put on a whole character and look completely different. But that's the choice, and we're allowed to have those choices. In a rather sharp contrast, Paris is hosting another glamorous event tonight, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. We'll have the highlights from that event in tomorrow's Entertainment City, including the weekend's runway performance. I'm a, I'm a star boy. Speaking of the weekend, he's a star boy and a Spotify record breaker, having just set a new record for most Spotify streams in a single day. Following the release of his third album, he unseats fellow Canuck Justin Bieber, who set the previous record a year ago. This is our Rogue One will not be getting a Rogue Two. Executives have confirmed that there will be no sequel for the Star Wars spin-off, which is itself a prequel to A New Hope. So it sort of already has a sequel, right? Still, Rogue One is already breaking records, selling the highest number of pre-sale tickets for 2016. It's expected to rake in more than $130 million opening weekend. That's two and a half weeks from now, but in the meantime, Twitter has announced a live stream event this Friday featuring never-before-seen footage from Rogue One, plus a Q&A with the cast. I'll just go to rescue you. Oh, I don't need to rescue you. Critics are calling Emmy Award-winning star Tatiana Maslany outstanding in the other half. She plays an artist with bipolar disorder who falls in love with a man suffering the effects of long-term grief. A fellow Canadian directed Maslany in the film, Joey Klein. Terry Hart chatted with him about his feature directorial debut. It's a very raw movie. Tell me a little bit about that tone. I think it's got to be grounded in that kind of reality because otherwise you're taking on such important subjects and you're not representing what's true about it. I'm not a violent person, I swear. I know. I believe you. But I'm not, okay? I'm not. Why did you do that then? British actor Tom Cullen plays the titular other half in the anguished love story, but in real life, these two are living out a much happier love story. They've been dating since 2011. Was it always the intent to have Tatiana and Tom in it together? Did they want to do something together? Once she started dating him, it was my intention. <laughs> and, and happily, he, he wanted to do it. Oh my God, what if they had broken up? <laughs> you know, they're a super solid couple and they seem very, very much in love. So I never really worried about that, but you're not the first person to say that. And when somebody said that, I've been like, <laughs> Thanks, Terry. As always, get your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at NCity.